Good morning, so today we are headed to Hiawassee, Georgia to do something called Trail Magic. Um, anyone who's done any kind of hiking may be familiar with that term, but uh, Trail Magic is given to a uh, term given to when someone does a good deed or um, you know, maybe, maybe it's providing food or providing a tent or equipment for hikers that are through hiking long distances. So we're headed up to the last place that the Appalachian Trail crosses a major highway before it goes into North Carolina from Georgia. And uh, this is a very popular time of year for people that are doing the entire Appalachian Trail, which if you're not familiar, is well over 2,000 miles. It goes from Springer Mountain in Georgia to Mount Katahdin in Maine. And uh, every year, thousands of people uh, set out to do the entire trail um, in, in, uh, in one year. So this is a popular time of year for people to start in Georgia and head north. And we are going to be about 80 miles from where the trail starts. And we're going to set up trail magic. So what we have done is we are bringing a Blackstone griddle and coffee makers and fresh fruit and lots of food and uh, tables and uh, have some music going and we are going to provide a free hot breakfast for any of the hikers that, that come by um, uh, on their way into North Carolina. So stick around. We've had a good morning so far. We've uh, done bacon, sausage, eggs, pancakes, biscuits. We got hot coffee for all the hikers. Had a pretty good crowd coming in. Uh, uh, they, they just like to have a seat, enjoy a hot breakfast, and uh, they'll kind of talk for a minute, tell us where they're from, and then they head, head north to, to inch closer and closer to uh, Maine. So uh, we're just having a great time. Hi, I'm Ginger. I'm from Seligman, Arizona, and this is really a great spread. Thank you very much. I'm Rachel. I'm from Charleston, West Virginia, and um, I just think this is fantastic. I was super hungry when I woke up. I'm eating some eggs. Got I don't even know what else, but I'm enjoying it. And uh, hiking the trail is surreal because I've wanted to do it since I was your age. So it's pretty cool. All right, thank you. I'm Ron. I'm from Jolly, Texas, and this is something I've wanted to do my whole life saw Trail Magic and they've got wonderful cups of coffee and great breakfast, so thank you so much. It's awesome. Hey, I'm Colby. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and the coffee saved my life this morning. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm Cloud Kick. I'm from Virginia Beach, and these eggs are fantastic. Just coming off that vista up there, it's really good. All right. Happy trails, brother. Well, most recently we just camped at like a vista right back there, and so we watched, we sat out there last night and just kind of watched everything get dark and stuff, and then 
we didn't get to see the sunset, but that's where the sun rose. So we hung out there this morning and watched the sun rise and watched clouds roll in and like over all these mountains and cover the mountains and then move back out and reveal the mountains again. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. And then what are your names and then where are y'all from? I'm Rhett and I'm from Texas. I'm Emily, I'm from Tennessee. All right, thank you guys. Yeah. So one thing about these through hikers that come through here, they've been eating only energy bars and oatmeal and trail mix and uh, things like that, granola. So to walk up on us cooking hot eggs, bacon, sausage, biscuits, and then we've got hash browns as well going on here on the griddle. So uh, to walk up on this, they've, they've all been super grateful and uh, I'm, I'm, it's really been a blessing for us to be able to provide this for them. and. Um, who knows, maybe we'll come back and do it again next year. Uh, squeaky trail name and uh, from Powder Springs, Georgia. Coolest thing I saw was uh, rock slide. Ooh. Not an actual, but it, after yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Nubs from Cartersville, Georgia. Coolest thing I saw was being above the clouds waking up. Ooh, wow. Uh, Joe from Beach Isle, South Carolina. And I mean, just being able to overlook mountain ranges. So I'm Ryan. Uh, Went to high school with Carrie, best friends with this guy Todd, and I uh, got invited out to do this. And I really just enjoy having an opportunity to serve others, uh, especially for these guys doing such an, an epic adventure. This is kind of like a once in a lifetime thing, in my opinion. Some of these guys seem like they've done it a time or two. Uh, but an opportunity just to really interject myself into their lives and share some of their experiences is a lot of fun and I think it's a great opportunity for people like us to kind of give back uh, to just to kind of help and just to be good servants and, and help where we can. My name is Shark Dude, I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I heard about the Trail Magic five miles down the trail. It got me to push harder to make it here. The Trail Magic was awesome, as you can see. It's awesome. These people are awesome. All the hospitality. I've been blushing over here, all the hospitality. It's awesome. From CT, Steve Stark on YouTube. I'm filming my 2200 mile hike with Shark Tooth and the boys. We heard about the Trail Magic five miles ago, and it's bomb. I'm from Helen, Georgia, and the coolest thing I've seen so far is a huge shooting star. Ooh, okay, thank you. All right, Hillbilly, the coolest thing I saw was a beer bottle explode and go through a guy's tent. <laughs> I'm Tennille uh, from Huntsville, Alabama. The coolest thing was a Bigfoot a foot in a tree. <laughs> oh. uh, Steve, we did this once before. Coolest thing I've seen yet is the trail magic along the way. Oh. So um, I am Tetris. I did the AT Northbound in 2020, and it was an awesome experience. Obviously, a lot of other people around here doing it, enjoying it as well. Uh, I think you asked me what the most beautiful section was. Very difficult. It's all very different. Um, I think some of my favorite section actually was parts of North Carolina and Vermont was actually remarkably beautiful and not one of the states that many people talk about. Yeah. New Hampshire has yeah. the big mountains and the big open vistas, but Vermont should not be underestimated. It was also very nice. All right, and then what's your name and where are you from and uh, where was the state you hiked in? Uh, my name is Julia. I'm from Georgia. I currently live in North Carolina. My favorite part along the AT is Cades Cove. So the Blackstone 22 inch griddle certainly uh, had its work cut out for today, but it won again. Uh, we think we cooked about, about seven or eight pounds of bacon, probably that same amount of sausage. Um, and then uh, we did probably 80 to 90 eggs, uh, 30 hash brown patties, um, a bunch of pancakes, 
Um, so, Blackstone came through again. A lot of food today. So one of the neatest things that we heard about today that we really got a kick out of was how word spread uh, for several miles on the trail about what we were doing. Because we had so many people that showed up and told us, oh man, I, I heard you guys were cooking food and I was still several miles away so I picked up the pace to make sure I got there in time to get some of the food. And, uh, one of the last groups of hikers that we fed actually he came out of the woods and he was like you're still here he was so happy uh, he said he heard at least five miles back uh, about somebody cooking food for all the hikers and how he had he had tried and, and picked up the pace and, and tried to get get there as quick as he could so that was one of the I think one of the neatest things we heard about all day So to say today was a hit uh, is probably an understatement. We cooked uh, and provided breakfast for about six hours, six and a half hours. Uh, we think that we fed probably close to 50 hikers. Uh, we had 42 that signed in on our, on our sheet, but um, we know there were a few that didn't sign in. So uh, my wife was just saying that one of the greatest experiences in a long time is Providing for people, um, giving our time and, and energy to, to feed them, and uh, it was just very rewarding. And every person that came through was completely different and all so grateful and appreciative for what we had done um, because that's just not the kind of food they get on a daily basis on the trail. So it was really a wonderful experience, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video and uh, tune in again.